I'm not going to sleep with you on a first date. You know that, right? Well then, I'll just have to try harder, won't I? Let's talk about something else, okay? Okay. How about sex in movies? Be when I said something else, I meant something other than sex. How about movies? Can I ask you something else? When we decided to meet, I mean for real, what did you expect? A tall, dark stranger? A gentleman? What every woman expects on a first date. So you want me to pretend to be someone I'm not? I'm not a stranger. Well, I have to say, you look nothing like the picture on your profile. Worse? Younger. Does it bother you that I'm younger? It did at first. Well, I'm older now. No, you're still a baby. <laughs> well, thank you. And you're smoking hot. <laughs> so does this approach with women really work for you? I can't really reveal my trade secrets to you now, can I? You must go out on, like, a lot of dates. Well, not as many as you might imagine, but maybe even lesser than the number for a woman like you. Was that a crack about my age? What? No, 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 no. Well, it's just that I haven't done this a lot. Now, why do I find that so hard to believe? I'm being honest. In fact, you want me to be completely honest? I want to know who you really are. Well, everything I've told you about me is true. Except that I'm not really a liar. <laughs> Very cheeky, of course. And Virat is not my real name. I like Virat. It fits. Okay, your turn. Me? You know everything about me. I got divorced last year. And I haven't told you this before, but I have a young daughter. Lives with her father now. I miss him so much. Well, I hate to be the one pretending to be old and wise here, but is that why you called me here? I guess I wanted to try the whole boyfriend experience once. So you see, I'm this helpless little girl sitting here and thinking, I don't know what I'm doing here. Except one thing. What? On any date, and I'm not saying this date in particular, the woman always knows one thing more than the man. What is that? You see, when a man is on a date and he's sitting there and he's talking, he's just wondering one thing. Is he going to get lucky tonight? Or lying? That's what he's thinking. True. But the woman, she already knows. Also true. So you see, we have more to worry about. For we are venturing into the unknown, so to speak. Well, let me make it easier for you then. I'm still not sleeping with you, just to take the pressure off. <laughs> I can imagine the dates in your past, the men in your life. You know what I loved about him? The way he could seduce me and be distant at the same time. The little hints. Well, I think he was an idiot to have run away from you like that. Well, it was mostly just sex, but the fringe of conversation. Hardly enough for a marriage. Well, he must have been really good in bed. It's not the in part that's the problem. It's what you do after sex. And it's not just him. All men I've been with have this primal instinct to jump out of bed and run the moment they're finished. Well, men can be jerks, I know. But I think I deserve a fair chance, just as any other. Why? What can you do that another man cannot? I would hold you tight. And never let you go. How? 
How would you hold me? I take you in my arms. Push my fingers through your hair and kiss you. Go on. Then I stroke the sun and breathe in your ear. Then, what would you do? I would melt into all the way down. What would you really like to do? Take you in completely. Does it feel as good as it sounds? If you know what you're doing. So, what now? What now?